Hello and welcome back. I'm Marshall Vladimir and I'm your host today and this is Operation Overlord, January 1941, British Commonwealth and Free France turn. So I'm going to start with my tech rolls. I'm going to be rolling for heavy bomber, heavy bombers, advanced ASW and radar. So I'm starting brand new tech here. So I'll start with heavy bombers. This is at nine. That's lucky. That's a success. Then I'll move on to advanced ASW at seven and eight. That's also very lucky. And radar at seven again. Now that's five. So two for three. That's pretty good. Okay, let's move on to my purchases. So um, Britain is going to be starting a minor shipyard in South Africa, so that will cost two IPP. It is going on this on the sea zone bordering 115. Yeah, no, actually, it's going to border what's this one? 116. So we're going to start a minor shipyard there, and they're going to build a seaplane, so that'll be for 9, an airborne 12, a colonial 16, wait, let me redo this maths, 9, 12, 16, I only have 27, I spent too much, okay. I'm just going to remove this colonial infantry and replace it with a normal infantry. So that'll cost 27. Anzac is going to build a submarine and tank destroyer for 10. And that's all they have. The tank destroyer is going to be lend leased to the USSR. And FEC is going to upgrade a militia, build an infantry, and build a fighter and save one IPP for 16. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my combat movements. I don't have too many big land combats, but I am going to be, I don't think I have any land combats, but I am going to be bombing Germany with one medium bomber in Western Germany and one strategic bomber in Eastern Germany. So we're going to be bombing both of the major factories. And then this is also a combat movement, I believe, this light cruiser from season 45 is going to move down season 79 and go on escort duty <clears throat> okay um let me see just double checking if i don't have any more combat movements i don't believe I do. I'm not in a position to attack any German submarines, so... Okay. That's it for combat movements. Okay, well, let's get on to the rolling. So, I'm just going to grab some D6s from here. And a couple D12s for the anti-aircraft fire. So I'm going to start with the bombing of Western Germany. So the anti-aircraft fire is at a 3. So let's roll. That is a pain. I lose that and do four damage to the German factory. Where is it? Factory damage. So my bomber gets shot down by the German anti-aircraft fire. You should give them a medal, the veteran. They did well. And now I'm going to be rolling for the bombing of Eastern Germany. So this is, again, at a three. Okay. 
8 damage to the major factory. And no, my bomber was not damaged. Uh, flip. So take that Germany. 12 IPP worth of damage. So now let's move on to non-combat movements, and I do have several of those. An infantry from Transjordan, from Eastern Egypt, is going to move to Transjordan to counter German movements in Iraq. An infantry from Abyssinia is going to move to Nubia. The medium bomber in Western Egypt is going to move one space to 81 one space to 80, and then going to land in Gibraltar. <laughs> and now I'm going to bring two fighters down from British Midlands. One, two, three, four, five. Again, into Gibraltar. Um, this fleet, N45, is going to move 1, 2, 3 to 24. So that's a light carrier with a fighter, a light cruiser, two destroyers, three heavy cruisers, and a battle cruiser. This coastal defense ship is also going to move down 1 to season 24 and join this fleet back at the British Isles. The torpedo destroyer, the battleship, and the two transports are going to move to season 21. <coughs> Off the coast of Canada. The strategic bomber is going to move back and land in British Midlands. The, the three fighters in London are going to move to British Midlands. Um, let me see what else. The two militia... Um, Two infantry from London are going to move to British Midlands as well. So that's going to put six infantry in the Midlands. And then I'll just move the four infantry back to London. So now I have four infantry, three militia, and three anti-aircraft guns. Sorry about that. Actually, this UK First Fleet is going to move down next to Gibraltar. But obviously, the coastal defense ship cannot do that, and so he shall remain. These, this fleet is actually going to move. They moved one, and they're going to move an extra zone into season 150 into the Great Lakes. I believe I can do that, so I shall. And this coastal defense ship will just stay where it is, actually. Sorry about that. And that should be it. That should be good. Germans have obliterated factories. Now, let's move on to the rest of the world. Um, we have some units down in India that we're going to move. This infantry from Haryana is going to move to... Um, he's going to rail to Calcutta, and the Gurkha is from southern India is also going to move to Calcutta. So I have seven infantry and three Gurkhas there now. 
the coastal slope is going to remain and the two Gurkhas in Burma in Bengal are going to remain. No other non-combat movements will be done next to India. And then the Anzac fleet will move one two to one four six. The two submarines will move up one space next to New Britain to end in one two six. And that is, I believe, my non-combat movement. So now I will move on to place units. Anzac is going to drop the tank destroyer in Primorsky Krai for our Soviet friends to use against our German enemies. Anzac is going to build a submarine in season 146. It's the only place they can build it. And now Great Britain is going to start there. They've already started their shipyard, so that goes on stage two. The seaplane is going to be built in South Africa. The strategic bomber is going to be built in London. So now I also have an additional strategic bomber in London. The airborne is going to be built in London. And this extra infantry is going to be built in London. That then I'll just move on to FEC. They're going to build their infantry in Haryana, the fighter in Calcutta, and then the militia upgrade will be done in southern India. Okay, now I'll move on to Free France. So Free France has six IPP to spend, and as usual, they're just going to build two infantry. Now I'll move on to their movements. I don't believe they have any, actually. Yep, three French units are going to stay, and no French free units are going to move, and then I'll place my units. There's just two infantry, and both will be placed in northern Algeria. So now Free France has three, four, five, six infantry in northern Algeria as well as a mountain. And Free France will end their movement. And their, their turn and they will collect five IPP as they lost one to the Free French seizing of the Vichy French, sorry, seizing of Cameroon. Okay, so now I just realized I forgot to click British income, so I will do that very quickly. So Britain collects 27, FEC 14, and Anzac 7. Then Anzac collects two IPP bonus, I believe. FEC also collects two IPP bonus, and Britain collects three from Eastern Egypt to go to 30. And now I shall roll for my wartime economy. Eight. Okay. That is pretty nice. And... Again, we will give one to Anzac, 
and then if Britain will collect the remaining to end with 37. Now I just have a quick matter to resolve in Leningrad in this in the Soviet liberation of the city. Five Star said that his fighter got no hit. No hits on the first round, but they did in fact. So there was only one German infantry. And on the next round, one of the German infantry hit. One of the two infantry. So now I will be rolling this d6. If it's a one to a three, the battle result will stay the, stay, stay the same, but it's a if it's a 4 to a 6, the Soviets will get back one artillery. It died. So yeah, no changes there. And that's all for me. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll pass it on to the veteran with his Italian turn.